Hey guys, welcome back to Cosplay Extreme. Today we're going to carry on with the Claymore Sword Bolt, seeing as I've got the materials that I needed. Also, I'd like to say hi to all the new subscribers who have joined the channel. Welcome. Hang around till the end of the show. We're going to have the two names show up for the people who will be getting the Dead Master Horns. Good luck to you. So let's get into this and see how far we get. Now it's time to create the bullet shape that goes into the blade. To do this, I went and I found a shape that will help out. This is a lubrication bottle for sewing machines. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting this in half, then cutting the shape in there and inserting this into there. Once that's done, I'll be able to put on the pommel piece. Now that we have the two halves cut out, we can now mark out where they go. And we will do the same on the other side. Now it's time to get into the crossguard piece. What's going to happen is we're going to be creating the crossguard arms which go on the sides here. To do this I called in the help of a friend of mine who is a very proficient sculptor and he will be sculpting the pieces out of plasticine. He has a website called puppetboy.co.za. I'll put a link to that in the description below. He also does commission pieces if anybody would like to order a elaborate weapon or something from him. And after a couple of hours of sculpting, this is the end result. So what's going to happen with this now is we're going to build a box around this so that we can fill it up with silicone and create a mold. And that will be filling with silicone. Easiest way to do this is just pull off your cable ties or your zip ties that hold your mold together. Split it down the seam. By right, she should just pop right out. There we go. Now that we have both the cross guard pieces, we want to drill a hole down the ends either side to be able to fit this onto the shaft. If you can see that, that I've put through the cross guard piece over here. Now that we have our pilot holes, we can now drill the actual size of the shaft. This is a 6mm. Yours will obviously differ depending on the thickness of the mounting shaft you use. As you can see, I've fitted the cross guard. Now it's just a case of filling that up with resin and then it'll be time to spray this puppy. Here's a little trick that I have picked up on. If you have gaps that you want to close up but you don't have resin or anything, 
Get yourself some No More Nails. What No More Nails does is it gets into that gap, you can just squeeze it straight in there, it'll dry quite, quite hard, and it'll give a nice finish. Both sides, let that dry, and you can give it another full if you need to. And there we go, we are finally in the home stretch. Now that we have the cross guard mounted, this is ready for paint. I've already sanded the PVC down, and to paint this, we are going to be using some mirror pro, plastic primer, and obviously the bronze. And there we go, the final product. The sword has been sprayed up, as you can see. It is now silver with the cross guard, bronze, the black hilt, and the pommel piece. The clear symbol has been added, and how I added that was with plain reflective tape, which you would use on, uh, yeah, we call it trailer tape, which I then clear coated over. So, let me know what you think. Click down below to rate. Leave a comment, please. You know where to click to subscribe, keep the comments coming, it motivates me to carry on. And that's the end of another build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I didn't show you the part where I covered the sword in smooth cast, I did say that's optional. If you want to find out how to do that, click on this link, it'll take you to xrobots.co.uk where there's a full tutorial on how to do that. Now it's time to let you guys know who the two lucky people are who will be getting a pair of these. That would be Henry Go Lightly and Hikaru the Vampire. Hook me up over Facebook, the Cosplay Extreme page, and PM us with your details so that we can send these out to you. The rest of you who weren't selected, unfortunately, everybody still gets something. Click down below, look for the link that says Templates, and you can download the template that I created to build these horns, or to make the horns. On that note, have a lovely week, see you next time.